the sights. And sounds. The sights and sounds of Bayview. 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 Amen. Amen. Having pride rolls up to the plaza at 3rd and Oakdale with a mission. Hit the bricks and tell everyone they meet about the group's job placement, food assistance, and GED programs. But before that work starts, well, please remove your hats, they say, and join hands in the circle. It's time to pray. Let them know, Heavenly Father, how you have saved us, Heavenly Father. Yes, how yes, we come back yes. And them. Here's what drives HP. Number one, Christ. These folks don't just believe in Jesus. They believe that he's given them a mission to go back into their communities and serve fearlessly. Number two. Love my, love my people. I hate seeing us going down. So if, if, if I can make a difference, fine. When HP President Randolph James says, my people, he means black folks. The ones who live around here are struggling with high unemployment, double-digit homicide, gang violence, and a sense that this city doesn't care about them anymore. But these folks still matter to James and HP's other members. Most of them come from Hunters Point or nearby Bayview. They all went to the same few grade schools together, and they still love the place where they grew up. More than half a dozen HP members fan out like a small platoon across the plaza, armed with Bibles, Christian tracks, and business cards. I got a question for you. Yes, sir. Don't y'all feel it's time for a change? Yeah. yeah. James poses the question to a small crew of young men and women. They apologize to him for the faint smell of weed smoke and for the gold and ruby cans of Old English malt liquor tucked in paper bags. Don't worry about all that, James says. But if you want a better, safer Bayview, where you own homes and have good jobs, that hard work starts now. James leans in. Think about it. You got kids, do you want them to come up in today's world or you want them to come up in a better world? We gotta make a change. And I'm coming, that's from the streets, that ain't from the word of God. That's just from my heart. I, I see us, we going down the tubes. A lot of people would be too scared to do this, heading into a neighborhood with a rough reputation and walking right up to a group of young people, strangers drinking and smoking. But this place is not strange to James. Just a few decades ago, he was here too. I ran these streets. I ran with dope fiends, killers, thieves. If I was tough or considered myself to be tough back then, I could walk the streets anywhere. God told me I, he didn't give me the spirit of fear. What God did give James, he says, was a second chance. A self-described former Hellraiser, he was in gangs around here, doing drugs and drinking a lot. The church and his wife helped pull him out. But I'm reading and hearing about African-Americans killing one another. And I'm saying, man, what is what are people doing? I'm hearing everybody complaining, but who's doing what? So then it came to me by, why don't you do something? Why don't you go back to your old neighborhood? Why don't you see if you can make a difference? Several of the members, like James, were involved in gangs decades ago. Today, their affiliations are their churches. But that gangster swagger, these OGs still have it. When they're out on the street, they don't walk, they stroll. The young people see that, and they're respectful. A few even stick around when an HP member rolls his luxury car right into the plaza. He's mounted four loudspeakers on the roof. Once he's done preaching, another member takes the mic and floods the plaza with a song. It might be hard to see how this bullhorn evangelism is supposed to convince young people to leave the streets, get their high school diplomas, find jobs, and fight the poverty and gun violence racking their town. James explains HP's tactics like this. It's like um, playing a game of golf. For the first shot, HP swings big and hard with its message. That's the loudspeaker tack. Out of the thousands they preach to, they say, maybe one or two people will reach out, looking to change their lives. James calls these the chip shots. 
it looked like it worked for him. I maybe maybe I might just give it a try for me. The ship shop is working till you get to the hole that you need to make. HP's motto is iron sharpens iron. It comes from the Bible. For them, it means that residents all work together to strengthen the whole. It's apt not just because this is a Christian group. Some of these guys were once actually iron workers, plus longshoremen, carpenters, and electricians. They're also focused on jobs. HP works with the city to help young people find trade work. That's where Oscar James comes in. No relation to Randolph. The HP organizer focuses on vocational training, and he recruits heavily on San Francisco streets, down at the plaza and up in Hunters Point's housing projects. As a teenager, Oscar ran with the Egyptians and then the vanguards. He calls them clubs, not gangs. Either way, serious business. They made me the war counselor, sergeant of arms. Today, Oscar's a man of peace. His title with HP is simply organizer. But back then, one of his clubs assigned him to oversee neighborhood battles. Then we would take in our chain, our meat cleavers, our razors, and we would fight, you know, in longshoremen hooks. We wouldn't have no guns. It'd be hand-to-hand -hand combat. Longshoremen hooks? Meat cleavers? He's proud of this history, but he draws on the club wars of his day to press some points about the gang violence happening here today. Put down the guns, fight for your families, and fight for your community. What I'm basically trying to do is tell these young people it's power in numbers. With the division that they have, they don't have the power. Again, it's hard to know who really gets reached like this. These aren't young men, the leaders of HP. He might be from the streets, but this is 2013, not the 60s, and these streets have changed a lot. HP President Randolph James says showing up and telling his own story about growing up in Hunter's Point, it goes a long way. Remember, it's like golf. Slow, patient, strategic. For Cross Currents, I'm Christopher Johnson.